Floating text effect, it looks cool, it's easy, it's simple, and we're gonna get into it today in DaVinci Resolve Fusion with a bonus of how to do a fly-through floating text effect that you'll be able to recreate in less than two minutes. Let's get into it. So mixing it up in the studio a bit today, guys. I got the window open finally. Obviously got my big softbox, so I'm not washed out, but I thought it's a beautiful day in Melbourne at the moment. Although we are still in stage four lockdown, it's always a good chance to get some sun when the sun is out. Make you feel a bit better, get that vitamin D. Today we're gonna to be doing the fly through text effect really quickly. And I'm gonna show you with some bonus, some drone footage that I collected a little while ago, I had a bit of fun with. So hopefully you guys can follow along, join in on this one and create an awesome text effect. Super simple, super clean, nice and easy. If you enjoy DaVinci Resolve tutorials, guys, let us know. I've got a lot more coming. Uh, it's, I picked this up over the last like year and I'm really enjoying using it. I think it is way better than Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects once you get your head around it. So if you, that is the sort of thing you're looking for, make sure you hit subscribe, leave us a comment to let us know if you're thinking about switching to DaVinci Resolve if you have or what other tutorials you wanna see, any effects you wanna recreate, let me know and I'll see if I can figure it out. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, ready to chuck this effect into these clips. So I've got here a really simple drone shot that I've got from a recent little play around down at the ocean back when I could go outside. Really simple guys, you're just gonna click on the clip, select it, we're gonna go into Fusion. All right, so here we are in Fusion guys. Now this is gonna be super, super simple, super quick. I'm gonna blast through this to get you guys nice and up to speed. First things first, we're gonna need that text node. Shift space, comes up with all your options for Fusion. Go into text add text and I'm going to press shift and hover over there to the joining line here and it's going to add in that text with the merge node for me nice and easy first things first I'm going to change up add some text in which is going to be Cape Shank which is where we shot this piece I'm going to change up that super disgusting text make this a little bit bigger for me and now what I will do is go back to our media in select that I'm going to go shift space planar tracker now this is the tool that's gonna to give the effect that the text is actually in the scene in there with you and moving along. So there's a few things we need to do just for a scene like this. If you've got a lot of movement, you wanna make sure that you get the right settings because sometimes in a plane tracker, if you've got it on the right settings, it'll move and warp the text uh, horizontally and across the X and Y axis to make it look like it's stuck in the scene or connected to a certain point. We just want it to be floating around. So what we need to do, first of all, going from top to bottom, is set our reference point. So we're gonna go right back to the start, first frame and set. That reference time just refers to, is just telling Fusion where we start tracking from. When it says zero, it means the very start of the timeline back in the edit tab. So from here we're saying, you just wanna track from frame 21, 21, and then we're good to go. For the tracker, we're just gonna do point nice and easy. Motion type is important. When it's perspective, that's where we'll actually warp the perspective and the X and Y axis of the text, which we do not want here. So I'm just gonna to go to translation. So that'll show you how it's moving and translating how the movement of the scene's going, rather than just trying to warp the text to the scene. Once this is done, guys, the last little thing we need to do is inform Fusion where we wanna track. So because it's on the Luma channel, that means it's gonna be tracking colors in the scene. So it's really easy for it if you've just got a nice high contrast area. So we're gonna go into this top left-hand corner, draw a polygon along here. And I've got the white of the ocean and the black of the rocks. So this is basically telling Fusion, I want you to track this area to get the most information out that you can to create the transform node we need to stick to our text. So once that's all good guys, we're ready to go. So we can go track to end. So that's really easy guys, you don't need to track all the way to the end, this is a very long scene. So now that I've got that, and as you can see all the data there represented by the green dots, what I need to do is come back to our planar tracker, click on create planar transform, it's going to create the data that's needed to link into the text node to tell it how to move to represent the movement in the scene. So what we can do is just shift click on our planar tracker and get rid of it. And then we're going to go into our planar transform and we're going to move it in between the text node and the merge node here, and what you will see is the Cape Shank is moving along relative to the scene here. Super easy. Now, what if you wanted to have the text moving along the scene, but as well as have it fly through? It's really easy to create a different sort of effect with our text to be able to fly through it, maybe reveal something or start off your scene with a little bit more uh, engagement, something a little bit more exciting for the viewers. And that's a really simple, just extra step right here. So all I've got to go is go to my text, click 
click on that, we're gonna go shift space and go DVE. Now I'll have a video coming out soon about why we would use the DVE tool over the transform tool and what's the pros and cons of both. Really simple guys, is it, this is why I love the DVE tool is that we can do the Z movement. The transform node only works on X, Y, X and Y axis. DVE tool works on X, Y and Z and it rotates in different ways. So when I'm doing the Z move, it's actually moving the text further and closer away from the camera whereas on your transform node, you're just making it bigger and smaller, if that makes sense. So what we can do here, is we go right back to the start. I'm gonna come over to the Z move. I'm gonna keep that where it is, just go click. And as we're flying through here, we're gonna go and make that bigger. So now you can see we are flying through the Cape Shank and it looks like we're flying through it. So it's really simple, really easy fly through effect, guys. One thing I always love doing is just going to my spline tool when I've got the DVE on the Z plant transform planar tracker thing. So we go over to our spline tool and we press Alt S. I'm gonna pull this one out here. And as you can see now, it's gonna have a little bit more speed as it's ramping up and coming towards the camera. And then it goes bang, nice and easy fly through. So if we come over back to the edit tab and that's all synced together, it's all rendered out. As we can see, we've got the cape shank and bang, just flies right through. It looks really cool. It's a cool effect that makes it just add a little bit more jazz, a little bit more spice to your clips and helps you just add that little bit of polish to your videos. Hope this helped guys, hope you didn't ramble too much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Subscribe if you're into DaVinci Resolve. I will be getting out there a little bit more, like I said before, in stage four lockdown in Melbourne. So I'm just trying to keep myself sane by doing these videos. But coming up, I will be taking you guys with me to shoot with clients. I'll be taking you with me for a couple of product shoots I've actually got coming up, just waiting on the stock and a few little things that are coming up. So more exciting stuff happening. I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Anyway, hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.